Hello children, this is Ms. Poonam here, back again with another story. Today's story, children, is written by a very dear friend of mine whose name is Jyoti Ayer, and we lovingly call her Jo. Whenever she wants to uh, teach her children a particular lesson or a topic, she writes a story so that they can understand it better. So it's only narrated by me, but it is written by Joe. Thank you, Joe, for this beautiful story. The name of the story today, children, is Sun, Moon and the Planets. Now let us find out what about Sun, Moon and Planets. Kavya and Karan are very excited today. Their mama is going to make puris for lunch. Hot after puris with amras. They just cannot wait to have their puris. And at 12 o'clock, they run to the kitchen and they ask mummy, Mama, are the puris ready? Kavya suddenly looks at mummy. She's sweating. Daddy is also helping her. He's also sweating. It is so hot in the kitchen. Kavya asks, Mama, can we help you? Mama says, oh, that will be wonderful, Kavya and Karan. Thank you so much. Take this dough and start making balls out of the dough. I will roll the puris and Daddy can fry them. Sure, Mama, says Kavya. But Karan, I don't want the dough. Boys don't work in the kitchen. Kavya says to Karan, Karan, don't be a fast spot. Look, daddy is also working in the kitchen. What is this? Give it a try. You may be the new master chef in making. Karan disinterestedly picks up the dough and says, Okay. And both of them start making balls with the dough. After a little while, Kavya looks at all the balls. And she says, hey, they're all different sizes. They're all round, but they're different sizes. Some are big, some are small, some are tiny. What is this, Karan? They're looking like the planets of solar system. Solar system, Kavya, what is that? Mom and dad are also curious to know what Kavya is going to say. Kavya says, I watched about the solar system on the National Geographic channel for kids. They were showing it the other day and Karan, do you know our solar system is 5,000 million years old and the main heavenly body of the solar system is the sun and that gives us heat, light and energy and she takes the biggest ball and places it over there and says this is the Sun and we have eight planets that orbit around the Sun and do you know the next planet closest to the Sun is Mercury and Mercury takes 32 days to go around the sun. Venus comes after that and Venus is the size of the earth. But it is full of poisonous gases and there is no life on it. And she takes the next planet ball and places it after Mercury. And do you know what planet comes after Venus? Current, can you guess it? I'll give you a clue. We are all touching that planet. Current starts thinking, then he says, I got it. It is the Earth. Bang on Current. That is fantastic. She claps for him. And she says, You get to place this. And Karan picks up the ball and places it on the table 
after Venus and says Kavya do you know this is the fifth largest planet of solar system dad takes the next ball and he says the next in order is Mars and do you remember both of you watching the movie Martians and he says two spaceships have landed on Mars but they have not found any life there Mama picks up a big ball and she places it after Mars and she says this is Jupiter, the biggest planet of solar system and she places it after Mars. Kavya takes the next round ball and she makes a ring around it and she says this is Saturn and Saturn has rings around it. Now she stops and asks Karan, Karan, do you know that we have eight planets? And how many more do we have to put on the table? Karan says, let me count Kavya. And he starts counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have two more. Well done, Karan, she says. And she takes a ball and says, this is Uranus. Uranus is called the rebel planet because it goes, orbits around the sun in the opposite direction. And the last one, is Neptune and this Neptune is farthest away from the sun. Now that says Kavya, I have a question for you. Till recently there were nine heavenly bodies that were considered planets but one was removed. Yes dad, I know that. That was Pluto and the Pluto is a ball of ice. Karan says, but what is moon, Kavya? Kavya says, Karan, moon is the natural satellite of the earth and it goes around the earth. And if you can find the earth, you can place it next to the earth. So she picks up a tiny ball and gives it to him to put it next to the earth. So Kavya Karan finds the earth and puts it next to the earth. Well done Karan, all of them say. The mummy and daddy give a pat on the back for both the children and they say, fantastic, you both were very good. And mama says, Kavya, if you were my teacher when I was small. I would have learned my lesson so well while helping. Thank you mama, says Kavya and dad says to Karan, Karan, did you see that all the planets were not lazy? They did whatever they had to do. They have to do. They do what they have to do. And they did what they had to do. But if we are lazy, there will be confusion all around. We have to be disciplined just like the planets. So that we are ready to face any difficult situation in life. I'm so sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to say to be lazy, Dad. I've learned so much today while helping. And Kavya and Karan take a write out little tags and place them next to each of the planets. And they are very happy. And they say, Mom and Dad, we are hungry now. And Mom and Dad say, Come along. Hot, hot puris for the stars of our life.
children did you like the story it is such a beautiful story look at all the planets how beautifully they are placed and one after the other how kavya showed karan how to place them and you have to do the same thing at home listen to the story again and again remember the order of the planets and what each planet does and keep the is important for and keep the little tags around it next to it next to each planet and you will have the solar system in front of you you have to listen to it many times children and find out your own activity to do and i will be back again with one more story very soon thank you joe for the wonderful story